Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Five Man Strat series. My name is Diffused Animal, and today we are on the brand new map Outback, defending the objectives, compressor room, and gear store with the operators Mirror, Mute, Smoke, Maestro, and Bandit. Starting off as always with mirror then you're going to make your way into gear and you're going to reinforce the right hand side of the west wall. You're then going to turn to your right and reinforce the north wall on the west hand side before placing your first mirror window on said wall. You then want to head over to the north doorway and place your shield in it. This is to stop a twitch drone from entering into gear store before making your way into store and then into the beer fridge. You're then going to place your mirror window on the right hand side of the two reinforcements which will be set up there by a couple of other operators. And then you're going to rotate around all the way to the south into the garage and head upstairs. Now this is where Mira will be playing, she will be a Roma, which yes may sound a little strange to you, um, but other people's gadgets and other operators gadgets fit better downstairs as anchors. So Mira really wants to be playing on this east hand side and her main job is to stop anyone from entering above and shooting the anchors below through the floors which are soft. She also wants to be keeping an eye on this hatch which is in Bull, which leads down to Kitchen which also leads on to the triple wall into compressor there will be a maestro camera watching this wall so it will be able to give a call out to mirror and then other than that like we said before stay up here the east side is probably the safest side and protect the anchors from above smoke is second up on the list and he is going to be the one who will make his way into beer fridge and reinforce those two walls on the west hand side where mirror's window will be placed He's then going to make his way through into waiting room where he will place his barbed wire about halfway down. You then want to rotate all the way back into gear where you will place your barbed wire just outside the north doorway in front of that mirror window and this is where smoke will play behind that mirror window. You want to shoot out a rotation, this wants to be a vault hole again so a twitch drone can't get through it. From here you are able to get a line of sight through into compressor, the other bomb site, and onto that door on the south hand side. The wall to your left will be reinforced, so you want to be covering the north hand side of the bomb site of the downstairs of the map in general. Stop anyone pushing in this direction onto gear store itself. Obviously keep an eye out for anyone pushing through convenience store, there are two other operators defending that side so that shouldn't really be an issue. And obviously the south door you can help out of compressor. From your rotation hole then you are able to Kobe a smoke over to that south door of compressor. And if you land it right in the middle behind the compressor it will stop anyone from planting there. Be aware that the floor is soft, the ceiling mirror is up there to protect you, but if she dies and they do start opening up, if you move over into the northeast corner, you are protected from above and you're still able to anchor the bomb site. Mute is the third operator for this strat and you're going to start off by heading over to that north wall and placing your mute jammer behind where that mirror window will be placed. Place it a little bit further back because this wall probably won't be reinforced yet, so you don't want it to get destroyed by the reinforcement. You're then going to head over to the south wall of gear and shoot out what looks like a crouch rotation hole. It's not actually. You're going to head around the other side, um, so to the north side of the convenience store, and then reinforce those two walls. Now, the reason you've shot this hole out is because if you head inside and place a mute jammer down, you're able to get it right up further, basically into the wall. And this means that a Twitch drone, if it tries to get the mute jammer, it will not be able to get through the door, and it will also not be able to see the mute jammer to shoot it out. Out. Even with this dodgy little bit of debris in the way which looks like it's covering, you can clearly see that you are not able to get an angle onto that jammer. So when Mute's done this, you're going to head into Beer Store, you're going to place your Mute Jammer on the left hand side, again as close up to the wall as possible. Because this shelving unit is outside the door, again a Mute Jammer is not a, a Twitch drone so it is not able to destroy the Mute Jammer. You're then going to place your final mute jammer onto the west wall of beer store, again where that mirror window is going to be. And yes, there is a drone hole in the northwest corner, but that will not be able to get to it because the mute jammer will stop it. 
So you're going to be playing behind this mirror window as Mute, covering the corridor which leads down to the south door of Compressor, stopping anyone pushing up there. This wall to the south will be reinforced, but if you hear someone in that corridor, remember there is a bit of barbed wire there, you are able to shoot a hole above it, the reinforcement does not go all the way to the top, and then you are able to Kobe your C4 over through this hole and hopefully get an easy cheap kill onto anyone there. Be aware though of any nades coming through so it might be a good idea to wait until you hear or get a call from my show that someone is pushing that direction before you shoot the hole open and try and get the kill. Moving on to Maestro and his first job is to place a shield in between the two bomb sites to stop a Twitch drone from getting into gear. He's then going to rotate through restaurant all the way into kitchen and reinforce two of the panels on that triple wall. You then want to turn around and place your first evil eye on the end of one of the barrels looking towards obviously that triple wall before shooting that hatch open which leads up into bull so Mira can use that to try and get a kill if anyone tries to thermite that wall. Maestro then wants to head all the way through convenience store into waiting room, head up to the doorway on the south hand side and place your second evil eye on the door frame looking towards the north. So Maestro's position is going to be in um, convenience store, basically covering that corridor to the south. You can be watching your Maestro cam to see if anyone is coming through garage or that corridor and then quickly peek out and get the kill. Your other evil eye is obviously watching that triple wall so you're able to flick through the two and the beauty about playing in this spot is you are gradually able to fall back the more and more you are getting pushed until eventually you are back into the bomb site. Last but not least is Bandit and you're going to start off by making your way into Beer Fridge and reinforcing that south wall. You're then going to place your first Bandit battery on this wall before rotating back through Convenience Store into Gear and all the way through into Compressor. You want to make your way out of the south door of Compressor and then place a bit of barbed wire just further up the west hand side of the corridor. Your second bit wants to go outside the door and then place a wooden barricade on that south door. Your final job is to reinforce the final panel on the north hand side of that triple wall and then this is where Bandit is going to play Bandit tricking said triple wall. Now Maestro has the Maestro camera on the other side in kitchen to help give Bandit a call out to which wall is being Bandit uh, trying to be thermited or herbarnered etc. And also you make, want to make sure you're watching that south door. The beauty about this, if the wall does get opened up or the ceiling above you does get opened up, you're able to fall back and you still have a decent amount of cover. That's it for this one then guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, take it easy and give them hell.